Hi everyone. In this tutorial I'll teach you step by step how to uncover details about an unknown WhatsApp number. Disclaimer. This video is made for educational purposes only. We do not encourage or promote any illegal activity. WhatsApp.checkleak.cc is a website and an API that lets you check a WhatsApp profile by phone number. It can verify profile slash options, cache or download profile pictures, and offers a database and paid services. You can get some information for free. That's enough for our awesome work. The paid tier offers extra tools and features. The number I'm using is someone's personal phone number, so I masked it to avoid potential legal issues. It takes a little time for the results to appear. After the human verification step, if this page shows up, just click, go back, to the previous page. Then the database results will be displayed. Here, it's showing information from leaked databases, including country, region, and some other details. Publicly visible phone number. This is directly personally identifiable data of an individual. Profile picture shown and name not shown here. This data isn't public. Last sync slash activity info gives an idea about when the user was last active. Backend slash raw data, sensitive info includes WhatsApp JID, profile picture URL, MB5 image hash, and last query timestamp. In the Telegram section, it shows an internal ID, number, country code, date, and the Telegram account, but the account is blocked. In the Google section, most sensitive, it displays three people's names, their NID numbers, gender, and phone number list, along with a link to a Scribd document. This is highly sensitive because many individuals' phone numbers, names, and gender are openly leaked. So overall, the tool shows WhatsApp profile info, Telegram existence info, Google leak results with multiple personal details. It combines all this to reveal a person's online footprint. In this screenshot, the Google search results plus raw Google data are shown, where additional sensitive information appears. Left panel. The search query contains the phone number. This shows on which sites that number can be found. Total results. 1 Bitcoin new release. PDF. Violence Scrib D. Results snippet. Description contains leaked data such as an ID number, gender, name, and phone number. Right panel. Raw Google data displays the same result in JSON format, including Title description URL position sponsored flag Sensitive part The description field where all the personal information is leaked Sync.me can reveal the owner's name if you sign in with Gmail and enter the number It may even try to show the last connected tower though the location isn't always precise I found the owner's name the free tier shows about one or two names a day, including hosted network details. Upgrading to the paid plan reveals more advanced data. Truecaller is a call identifier and spam blocking app slash service. Informally, it acts like a global phone directory. It shows the name for unknown callers, detects spam, and provides reverse phone lookup and messaging features. It also sometimes shows the Gmail tied to a number. I was able to see the Gmail there. You can get a lot of useful information from it. With numberlookup.com, you can get information for numbers from specific countries. It provides owner's name, mostly free for US numbers, location, city country approximate, carrier operator, mobile, landline, or VoIP, public sources slash social links, if available, detailed report, email, address, etc., paid feature. Tiny.com is a reverse image search engine. If you upload a picture or paste its URL, Tiny finds where that image appears on the web. It shows where and when the image was published, how close the matches are, and detects variants slash edited versions of the image. Yandex Image Search is another reverse image search tool. It can find similar images and related websites. Detect and match faces quite accurately show different variants of the same image. The best option is still Google Image Search. You can get a lot of information here. I uploaded my target person's photo and found plenty of details. Since much of it was sensitive, I didn't show it. But you can try it yourself. 
On intellects.io I looked up the Gmail I found. Now I'll check what sensitive information is leaked for that address. What the site shows. It displays which sensitive items are associated with the target Gmail. You'll see redacted and unredacted results. Redacted lines are hidden with black blocks. Next to them is a full data link. Full data, marked pro, means the real content is hidden unless you buy the site's paid subscription. With pro access you can view the same entries unredacted, clear text, emails, passwords, phone numbers, etc. Occasionally some entries are already public and include credentials like usernames and passwords. I'll check which other data breaches this Gmail appears in and see if we can find any additional information about our target. I'll check that Gmail on haveibeenpawned.com. If you paste the Gmail and click check, the site shows the data breaches for that address. It's showing five breaches. If you scroll down you can see exactly which breaches the target appears in and what was leaked in each one. In some breaches there are email addresses and passwords, and in another breach there are usernames as well. While gathering information on the target's number, you should take the data you collected and search it on Google to see what additional information comes up. Searching by name often reveals some details about the person. I was able to find my target's number, father's name, address, and even information related to any offenses. I matched all this with the target's name and photo to verify it. So far, we have gathered the target's number, name, an ID card number, Gmail, date of birth, address, crime history, family member info, and several other details, all of which make it possible to identify the person easily. OSINT professionals usually store all gathered data on their Windows systems. With tools like Agent Ransack, you can quickly see if a specific task or record has been handled before. To track a scammer during a WhatsApp call, you'll need Wireshark. Start by running it on your computer. On your main operating system, running Wireshark will show the Ethernet option for monitoring network activity. To track a WhatsApp call, filter the traffic in Wireshark using IP.address equals equals your host IP and end stun. Filter WhatsApp call traffic in Wireshark with the target IP and stun protocol. When the call connects, check the binding request to find the IP, then use online tools to get location details like country, city, and state. Gathering info on scammers or targets requires knowledge of these OSINT methods. This kind of work is in demand and can be profitable. To learn advanced OSINT, subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you want in the next video.